morning diggers uh, it's, it's probably not morning when you're watching but it is for me it's about 7 a.m quarter past seven something like that i'm just walking luna so gotta walk luna before i go and do my um deeds as you know before we go digging uh, it's sunday so you'll probably be watching this sunday night or monday night probably god knows yeah uh, me and trevor out today going out for three or four hours we usually do on a sunday so Fingers crossed we can do decent. We're going to be on a different field this week. Same form, different field. So You never know. Uh, it's the field where I was on a few weeks ago and I got the um, medieval strap end, which was quite nice. And I got quite a few pit tokens as well and coins. It wasn't a bad day, actually. It was quite a good day. So I'd imagine there's got to be some hammers in there. I've never had one off there because I've never really done the field too much. I've only been on there two or three times. Oh, there's Luna. Look behind me. <laughs> She's such a good dog. She really is. She's absolutely brilliant. There she is now, look. There she is. Good girl. There's that birdie. You get that birdie? She likes to chase the birds. She'll never catch them, but... Yeah, she loves to chase them. Come on, then. This way. Good girl. Yeah. So, anyway, back to what we're here for. Metal detected. It's not doggy daycare. Oh, and she goes to chase it. Oh, she fell over. <laughs> the bird went that way. She fell over. So, yeah. Me and Trevor are going to... Well, we're not going to crack on now. But me and Trevor will see you when we get there. And uh, we'll do that live dig on the first hole. See you then. There we go. First live of the day. It's just there. Oh, Trev's charged up today. <laughs> Let's see what we get here then. Let's see what we get here. First one, it's normally something crap. But oh, there it is. Uh, some kind of lid. Some kind of copper based lid there. It's not too fancy, so yeah. Not the greatest signal, it's like 15, 16, but it's on the top. It's part of the buckle. Just sat on the top. There look. There's a little bit of design in the central piece there. But yeah, just a piece of a buckle that time. Quite sunny, but it's cold. It's quite sunny, but it's got a just got that big piece of lead. I'll tell you what, it was deep. It was in the mid-30s. It was deep. Look how deep that is. <laughs> that's like, I don't know, that's like 15 inches. Got a right pile there. Now we've got to fill back in. Yeah, that was deep. It's a windy, chilly day. Where's that gone? 29.30. 30 ran that pebble. Let's see what we've got. 29.30, hammered, eh? Hammered. Hey, positivity. Positivity is the key. It is the key to becoming very depressed. What's that? What's that? Thought it was a Roman brooch there. Not really positive. Pinpointed on. What's that then, I think? What? Oh, see it's fell in. Oh, God. Good old live digs. Shotgun pin from the middle of a cartridge, look. Ah, oh, dear. That's about as good as it gets at the minute. It's been a terrible start again. <laughs> oh, let me turn around, but the wind noise. Yeah, it's been a terrible start again. It's like a carpet rod holder or something for the stairs, is it? Crap. Oh, dear. We've got a target here, I just flipped it out. 27.28, anyway, 27.28. Oh, I'm not very optimistic, that positivity's gone. It's, it's been drained from my life. It's not that, is it, no. Right, so we can't see it, so there's a bit of excitement. Could we break it up and there'd be something nice inside? No. Still in there. Come on, be something good. 
be something good. It's not. Oh wait, what is that? Is it like a stud or something? Yeah, some kind of stud, triangular, well, diamond shape. Might have a bit of age to it, to be fair. But yeah, it's not great, is it really? Not too sure what this item is. I thought it possibly could have been a small spur, like a broken one, but I just don't think that bit looks right for it. Not too sure. Any ideas on that one, guys? I've not got a clue other than what I originally said, but I'm not sure if that'd be right. Let's flip that lot out there. High numbers. Really high. Really, really high. So I thought it was going to be something big and easy to spot. Obviously not. Bloody hell. Oh no, it is. It is big and easy to spot. It's the world's largest piece of lead. It's just covered in mud. That's a few big bits of lead I've had today. Bloody hell. Yeah, well anyway, there it is. Big piece of chunk of lead. It's into a target there. I thought that might be one at the side of it. It's like a buckle, I think. No, it's not a buckle. I thought that, I honestly thought it was going to be a buckle. No, it's just some copper wire. Come on to this like scabby patch. I was on the same field as Trev. It's like sinky and horrible here. Look, my foot's sinking. Uh, got this one. It looks like it might actually have some kind of design on there. Look, I don't think it's anything too special, but I think it's better than what I've had so far. <laughs> Let's give it a wipe. It might be a brooch or something. I don't know what that's meant to be. I really have no idea what that's meant to be. Is that meant to be here or something? There's nothing on that side. So it's like it's come off the top of something, like it's broke off there, look. So it would have been part of something bigger. Oh, you never know, I might find the rest and be able to put it together and see what it is. I'll tell you what, it's been one of the worst days I've had in a long time, not finding much at all. Just into this one though. See if this is anything better. Honestly, I'm not finding anything at all. I've not really dug too many holes. And then when I have dug a hole, it's been something totally crap. So yeah, it's not been a good day. So this this could possibly be the last find with how things have been going. And then I might have to come back and go somewhere else and finish the video because yeah, like I say, it's been a dreadful day. I've just not got the look at the minute and I'm not holding my breath on this one expecting it to be anything at all it's going to be something hopeless when you've not got the look you've not got the look uh, where's it gone oh wait there it is what the hell is that I don't think that's anything again uh, bronze or copper or whatever you want to call it but yeah there's nothing on there I'll give it a clean and if there is something on it I'll come back but I don't think there is I think it's nothing how are we doing so yeah I'm back out um, it's a two part video because obviously that first part where I was on the stubble it was absolutely awful what a horrendous day again uh, so yeah I'm on some pasture today a field we've not done before other people have done it before there's two there's two fields I think one that I'm on now and then one above it I think. I know we're definitely loud on this one, but I'll have to ask if I can go on the other one if this one's a bit crap. But I'm just going to stay on this one today, where I know we're loud. So, yeah, fingers crossed it's uh, better than the first part of the video. Uh, my first target here. And it's a musket ball. I think it's a musket ball. It's lead shaped and that, so. Oh, I don't know, it might not be a musket ball. It's lead though. It was quite deep, a good eight, nine inches down there. So it's not a bad start. So at the side, I just got the musket ball from there, literally right there, and here, into a nice sounding 44, 45. So that's around there. So, where did I say that was there? Yep, 
Let's try and get this one out. See if this is anything good. It's lovely and short the grass, so there's a longer bit up the other side. It's just one field. It's not it's not a massive field, it takes about 10 acres maybe. But yeah. She said it had been done before by a few Lithuanian guys who had been a few times. But Terry came on and my cousin. And he was straight into an half penny and I've been straight into that musket ball. So what's that? It's under there, so let's get that there. It's quite clay. No. Oh, I can see it. I think it's a bit of lead. I think it's a big chunk of lead. Yeah, look at that. Like a lead ingot. Yeah. Definitely a lead ingot, I think, by the shape of it. Shame there's no Roman numerals on there. That's what I'm saying. Say so it's been done, it's only a little field. There's still stuff in here. It was only mid 30s. So let's see if there's anything in here. Nope, not in that one. It's in this one. Uh, where is it? And it's there. And it's just a bit of crap. I just pulled this one out on the pasture. Look, what's this? It's got a little leg there. It would have had two more legs, but they broke off. It's like the shape of an iron, actually. Would it have gone on an old Victorian stove and had like an old iron on top of it to eat it up, maybe? I don't know. It's like copper, though, look. And that green tinge to it and that. Yeah, not very deep. It was an ear blower. It was only about five, six inches down, but look at that. No idea. Unless it is what I've just suggested it might be. I can't think what else it could possibly be other than that. This was a 44-45. You can see that there at the bottom. It's about seven inches. I'm sure that's a coin. I'm sure that's a coin. First coin of the day. First coin of the video, I think. Let's see if there's anything on it at all. No, total blanker. Oh, no, actually. It's George the Third. Yeah, George the Third half penny, one of the earlier ones, I think. Yeah, not too bad actually. How are you doing guys? Uh, that's me done. That's me done. I'm heading off now. So yeah, another crap day. I was tempted not to post this video up, but then I thought, you know what, I will. Just show people how, um, how crap I am. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, that's as good as it gets lately. Like I said, I've had a few bad outings now. Fingers crossed it, it gets better next on the next outing. But might start going on some group digs and that because the land that I've got I'm not really finding much at all so I think I need to start getting out on some group digs and that and then fingers crossed my luck might change a little bit until next time